properly adjust the seat and handlebar height to the subject. With the pedal all the way down, the client's knee should be only slightly bent at about five degrees. Now, collect the client's resting data, heart rate, and blood pressure. When performing this test, the client must pedal at a steady rate of 50 RPM, or if using a metronome, 100 times per minute. For stage one, you will determine the workload based off of the heart rate recorded at the end of the warm-up stage. Refer to ACSM guidelines in order to determine the workload. During this stage, you will measure the heart rate twice, at minute 145 and at minute 245. You also will measure the blood pressure in between the two heart rate measurements. The heart rate measurements must be between two beats per minute of the examiner when taking your skills test. The heart rate must reach a steady state of values between plus or minus five to six beats per minute in order to continue to the next stage. While adjusting resistance for the next stage, ask the client their RPE. Oh. Reminder, refer to the ACSM guidelines test to determine the workload. This must be done in a timely fashion. Also remind the client to maintain 50 RPM. Monitor the client for signs and symptoms at all times and watch for test termination criteria. begin the next stage. Once the test is terminated, allow three to five minutes of a cool down. Be sure to collect recovery data during this time. The recovery can be active, so you would continue the work rate equal to the first stage of the exam or lower, or passive. The subject can rest in a sitting or supine position. This may be required if the client experiences discomfort, signs or symptoms, or if an emergency situation occurs. Measure the heart rate every minute and monitor the blood pressure every two to three minutes. 